The city of Naperville recently recognized a local men's group whose origins date back 300 years. Recently, I got the chance to learn more about Naperville's Masonic Temple. At first glance, you may only notice the Naperville Running Company when you look at this street front on Jefferson Avenue. But look closer and you'll see a door that leads to a building with rich history that was recently celebrated. It's the home of the 169-year-old men's group called the Euclid Lodge No. 65 Ancient Free and Accepted Masons, more commonly known as Freemasons. Freemasonry is about, I like to say it's about character building. Freemasonry uses the tools and symbols of uh, operative masonry and uses them symbolically to teach a man how to become a better person. The group started in Naperville in 1848 by a group of Naperville residents, including the founder of Naperville, Joseph Naper. While they've operated out of different locations throughout their history, they built their current lodge located at 34 West Jefferson Avenue in 1916 and have since held their private bi-monthly meetings at that location. While you must be accepted to become a member and learn the teachings of Freemasonry, they've seen many Naperville's come through their doors. We have physicians, pilots, electricians, people co who come from all walks of life and all creeds, religions, philosophies. They, they come here and all those distinctions and, and uh, things are left to the side and we come together in unity as brethren. To celebrate the anniversary of their current lodge, the Masons unveiled a 100-year-old time capsule in their cornerstone from when the building was erected. Packed inside in the year 1916 were several rare coins, clothing worn by previous Masons, a 48-star flag, and handwritten notes detailing the Lodge's members at the time. And replacing them are a list of new items that will lay at the cornerstone for new members to unveil. With new items like 2016 coins, a 50-star flag, and a proclamation dedicating May 1, 2017 as Naperville Masonic Temple Day, it's evident how times have changed. But what remains a constant is the mission of the fraternity and their dedication to becoming better men. I've formed and established great friendships. Currently, the lodge has over 200 members and is the oldest lodge in DuPage County.